Okay, this is to demonstrate the assembly of the n title CO2 Tor Phillips MP30s. Um, this is a module that you're familiar with uh, that has a non-invasive blood pressure, SPL2, and the ECG leads. This is a module you may not be too familiar with. This is the n title CO2 module. This module piggybacks to the main module. You'll notice that there are U-shaped spaces and you have footings. The feet will assemble as so and slide into the U-shaped slots. To disassemble, lift on this tab and just slide it off. So assemble this onto the monitor the module facing this way. Again, the feet will slide into those notches. Make sure it clicks in. It's in properly. Enter release. Enter release. I don't know if you get on top, but where my finger hand is, where this, there's actually a button. You'll push that towards yourself and slide the module out. Very good. So if you do need to take this module and place it onto another unit, into another room, you'd be able to do so. Let me just maybe end case this. Now, it's important. If you if this module is, if you need this module and this monitor is already on another patient, you must put the monitor on standby prior to removing of the entire module. Once you pull the module out, disassemble, and then you can place it back onto this monitor, and then touch your screen and turn it back on, and then you can bring this monitor, this module, to another room. The same thing, you to make sure the unit is off, the monitor is off, prior to assembly, and then assemble and turn it back on. It's very important. Not doing so, the monitor will not register the entire CO2 module. It will not recognize it. Okay. So we'll reassemble again. Install the modules. And now we'll simulate. <clears throat> and now we'll simulate. You turn on your monitor. And you're going to find package like this it says filter line set we have three different sets the most common will be this set used for an intubated patient right this will obviously go on the intubated end and on the circuit of, it, of the ventilator and where are those located well these should be located at every bedside in fact I just move this unit from this basket Okay. Uh, if you do not find it at the bedside, it's also in our storage room, which is in next to the x-ray department, which everyone has a key to. It's your KBA-7 key. Okay, very good. Okay. We also have two others. One's a nasal cannula for adults, and the other is a nasal cannula for pediatrics. To assemble this, you'll slide this door, insert the orange piece, and screw it in until it's stuck. And now I'm going to demonstrate your entitled CO2 waveform. An entitled CO2 should correspond <coughs> approximately to the arterial uh, CO2. Uh, so we should be looking for values between 35 to 45 it, typically. Okay, very good.